Who on earth was Filippo Dardi? And why is Bolognese fencing sometimes referred to as the Dardi school of fencing? Hey, I'm Martin and today we dive a bit into the context of our favorite fencing sauce, Bolognese. Usually we are referring to four to five core works from the 16th century Bologna when we are talking about the Bolognese sauces. Antonio Mancellino, Achille Marozzo, Angelo Vigiani, Giovanni Dalla Gocchia and the Anonimo. That's not to say there weren't later Bolognese treatises, but well, that might be a topic for another time. Filippo Dardi was a 15th century Italian fencing master. He might have been born in Bologna, though I've heard unproven claims that he was instead Spanish. To be clear, I'll be mainly using Battistini's and Corradetti's paper from 2016 on income and working time of a fencing master in Bologna in the 15th and early 16th century for this video. It's a fun read and if you ever wanted to know how much the 7 lire Marozzo charged for, for each the white and the close play would be worth at that time, that's your paper to go. We do know that Dardi was an astrologist and mathematician in Bologna, where he had a fencing school from 1413 up to his death in 1464. We also know that the University of Bologna employed him as a reader in arithmetic and geometry from 1443 to 1463 and in 1444 in astronomy. He was paid an annual wage of 200 lira to practice astrology. In return, the city council stated the maximum prices for his fencing classes, which were actually less than half compared to what Dali initially asked for. There are a few interesting things I'd like to share with you. First, Dardi seemed to have taught the Bolognese youth to a significant degree, indicating that we are definitely not talking about the nobility as the sole target group of this martial art anymore. Next, Dardi stipulated that for optimal results, a student should train two hours per day with him, but he doesn't want to be bound to teach any student for more than a year. Maybe a way to not get bound to some troublesome students. So that's interesting and all, but you might ask, how is he connected to Marozzo and Co? Well, he isn't, and that's the thing. Marozzo states that his instructor was Guido Antonio di Luca, from whose school sprang more swordsmen than from the belly of the Trojan horse, of which we know of two. But di Luca and Dardi? Any connection, there is only speculation. Also, there were supposedly other fencing masters before Dardi. And just like with Marozzo and Mancellino, it is likely that there were other fencing masters there beside Dardi. Thus the term Dardi school is just made up by modern people and I would refrain from using it since it's just so speculative. Dardi was certainly an interesting person, but until now we don't know of anything else of him beside his letters with the city council that have survived. With that, I wish you all happy holidays, Merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate and I'll hopefully see you all in the new year. Take care and bye bye.